keyboard-based instruments are among the most popular instruments in musical history. They have a history spanning over 2,000 years, from ancient Greece to the classical music period to modern day. Keyboard instruments come in many varieties, and there are numerous keyboards in different hornbostal sax instrument classification groups. The hornbostal sax system is divided into five categories. Idiophones, which produce sound by the instrument vibrating without use of strings or membranes, like a bell. Membranophones, which use a vibrating membrane, such as a drum. Chordophones, which have vibrating strings, like a violin. Aerophones, which have reeds or vibrate air through resonance, like a harmonica or flute. And sometimes electrophones, which use electronic circuits to make sound, like a theremin. The earliest keyboard instruments were aerophones and produced sound with a vibrating column of air in a tube. These were pipe organs. The earliest pipe organs are found in ancient Greece in the 3rd century BC. These organs were called hydrolysis and are called so because instead of an air pump, such as bellows, the air was pressurized with a source of falling water, hence the name hydrolysis, literally water pipe. The first air-powered pipe organs appeared in the 6th or 7th century AD and later became small, handheld pipe organs called portative organs, first appearing in the 1200s. As time went on, these became larger and larger, eventually becoming about the size of a modern piano. Finally, in 1361, in Halberstadt, Germany, the world's first permanent pipe organ was installed. The organ had 20 bellows, being operated by 10 men. The first stops, knobs that control harmonics of the notes, were put on organs in 1450 and became more advanced in the 1600s, allowing for more tonal controls. Because the instrument was very common, there were many pieces composed for it. One of the most famous pipe organ composers was Johann Sebastian Bach, who composed the iconic Toccata and Fugue in D minor. The pipe organ continues to hold a place in music. Most theaters and performance auditoriums have pipe organs built into them, even ones that are still being built today. As the pipe organ grew in popularity, people wanted to be able to have one of their own, but they were too large and expensive for an average person to have in their home, which led to the development of the pump organ in the early 1800s. Reed organs typically have two foot-pumped bellows and a large assemblage of reeds controlled by two stop levers. Although usually confused for a piano at first glance, pump organs produce sound by blowing air across metal reeds in a piano-like cabinet, making them aerophones. Because they were small, light, and easy to produce, reed organs grew extremely popular, finding place in houses, theaters, and churches all over, especially in America. One of the most famous reed-based keyboards is the accordion. Developed in Berlin in 1822, the accordion quickly exploded in popularity, especially in European folk music. The accordion is most often associated with the German polka and Italian tarantella music, but it can also be heard in Eastern European klezmer music, Scottish dance music, French musette music, and in American Cajun and Zydeco. The accordion is also used in popular music. One of the first instances was 1916's New York Blues by Pietro Frosini. The accordion was often featured on the famous Lawrence Welk show, fueling its popularity more. One modern accordion player who's become extremely famous is Grammy Award-winning comedian Weird Al Yankovic, of no relation to famous polka accordion player Frankie Yankovic. One of the earliest keyboard instruments that was common among the public was the hurdy-gurdy, which first appeared in the 11th century. The hurdy-gurdy is a chordophone and makes it sound by means of a vibrating string. The hurdy-gurdy works like a mechanical fiddle, and even looks like one. The left hand turns a wheel covered in rosin to allow it to grip to the strings. This wheel is touching all the strings and makes each one vibrate. A few of the strings are used as drones to play one note only, and the other strings go along the length of the body and are played with a small keyboard along the neck. The hurdy-gurdy reached peak popularity in the Renaissance along with the bagpipes, both of which sound very similar. The hurdy-gurdy is not very popular today but occasionally it does make an appearance, as it did in Led Zeppelin's album Physical Graffiti on the song In the Light, which has an intro played on a hurdy-gurdy. In the 16th century, a new string-based instrument came about. The harpsichord was invented in the Middle Ages, but was not majorly produced until the 1500s, when Flemish instrument makers greatly improved the sound of the instrument. Harpsichords have a piano-like keyboard, with each having a mechanism to pluck a single string, this produced a metallic, twanging sound that was used extensively in Baroque music. A famous harpsichord composer was Johann Sebastian Bach, also known for his organ compositions. One of his most famous harpsichord pieces is Prelude in C Major. 
Because of the way the harpsichord operates, the player can control the volume or intensity of the note played. Probably the most famous keyboard instrument in existence, the piano was the first keyboard instrument that could be played soft and loud, hence the original name pianoforte, Italian for soft loud. The piano, also a chordophone, produces sound with a key-controlled hammer that strikes a string. First invented in 1700, the piano didn't gain popularity until later in the 1700s, but when it became popular, it exploded across the world. Countless classical compositions have been written for piano, some of the most famous being written by Frédéric Chopin. The piano lives on strongly today. It is used frequently in jazz, ragtime, blues, rock, and pop music. Few keyboard instruments were created in the time between the 1700s and the late 1800s, but with the rapid progress of electrical science in the late 1800s, a new class of instruments surfaced, the electrophones, instruments that made sound with electricity.